Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Survival Settl Settlement Survival. Sorry, not Survival Settlement. Settlement Survival. Probably one of the most difficult, like, I don't know. Yeah, probably the most difficult game I've ever played on the channel. Especially coming from someone who's never played Banished or anything like that. And some of you don't know, this game is actually inspired by Banished. Uh, yeah, but, I, you know, I'm not doing the best job, but I feel like I'm doing, you know, I'm getting, I guess, on track somewhat. Right? I don't know. You be the judge of that. Anyways, um, here we are, and we have a lot of things going on, obviously. Uh, our happiness and our health is, is, is where it's at. I am only up to episode 4 in the comments, so episode 5 and 6 comments, I'm, I'm not gonna, well, this is episode 6, but episode 5 comments I haven't just gotten to yet, and uh, just wait for uh, future episodes for that. Yeah, so. Anyways, we've actually expanded over here with the marketplace, which seemed to be okay. Um, as of right now, but there's a lot of different things I want to do. Um, there's a lot of different priorities I want to go for. For uh, pastures need to be extended, and you know we can have more, pa you know, transfer animals and all that. But um, right now we're kind of sitting, we're sitting fine, I, I believe. We we've had our animals over time procreate, which is which is excellent. Uh, trees are starting to come up even more and more, which is good. I mean, look over here by now. Um, yeah, it, it's it's tree heaven once again, right? kind of cool um, other than that we did talk about how the black is considered iron at least it's what I've been told by multiple people which is so confusing so so confusing but uh, let's actually just go ahead and press play and I'm gonna slow down the speed just for a sec just so I can catch up with everything that I'm that I have going on here um, I do have this being built at the moment which is a clinic which should in this area down in the southern area is where we're kind of expanding to uh, help us so one thing that uh, that I've had a hard time like grasping and having my head uh, collect through all this is you can have you can go <laughs> you can go and expand you don't need to be expanding inch by inch and for other games where there's always that element of surprise where there you know if you ever played like uh, going medieval you know element of surprise someone attacking I, I gotta come out of that mindset and, and look at it more as we're just surviving, and we're just, you know, the name of the game, Settlement Survival. Uh, we're surviving the elements of the game itself, and then within each other, or ourselves here. Okay, with that being said, we do have quite a bit of people here. We have uh, 18 students, and, or sorry, 18, yeah, 18 students, 16 children. Uh, this tailor shop has now been built. Um, oh yeah, one thing I need to really do, before I forget, and I do not want to forget, is let's go ahead and build a very, very important, and I know this probably has been, <laughs> probably wanted to be requested for a very long time, a mine pit. Yes, a freaking mine pit, right? That's correct. Yeah, mine pit. We have the mountain, okay, so we have the mountain quarry, right? Yeah, we have the mountain quarry, which is this, yes? Mountain quarry, good. The mountain court workshop but we need a mine pit and i think you need to put this up against a mountain which if so i want to put it right here so we'll get this up in building oh look at that i don't like that i don't like how that road came out right there you see that you see that ridiculousness right there yeah i mean i could double path it if i really wanted to double path it but yeah, I, I need to get this going, a mine pit, so that we can go ahead and start harvesting uh, just iron for the most part, right? All right, we'll speed up now. Now that I have an idea of where I want to go, I mean, looking at it now, it looks cool with the clinic being backed by the mountain, but the mountain is kind of a big resource, <laughs> a big resource that we could use. So I'm going to throw somebody on the tailor here now that we have an available employee, um, and they are going to be producing guess rough well we can make back oh straw shoes yes we have reeds yeah total reserves yeah let's make them have straw shoes and then i guess in the future we can have them do some backpacks no 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 we can't we have to have that uh, logistics unlock but at least for now we can do shoes because i don't think we have shoes for our villagers i know it's like long overdue for now but yeah um any other jobs that we can throw an extra oh yeah i think actually this is going to be come uh, a, a job ready for someone the water mill uh yeah it's gonna be our next one we just need timber and laid stone along with rope which i think we should have a lot of uh more like i can build another pasture over here if i wanted to like maybe i don't know if that's enough tiles there more food yeah focusing more on food have another field going on probably is the next step to go for 
Um, and yeah, we can have another field next to the quarry. That's no big deal, right? Uh, it is. By the way, I think there's terraforming. I've also been told terrafor terraforming in this game, you just gotta unlock the uh, technology for it. Which would be good. I can then like flatten this area out and then put like a, you know, a farm there. Uh, for here, it looks like two people already jumped on the case, which is good. Holy crap. Never mind. All right. I, I overlooked that. Let's actually go ahead and do, uh, not potatoes, but let's do tomatoes now. Get that extra variety going on in our, in everything, really, our village here. Looks like we are out of agave, which is bad. However, I, I build a field, right? Look at this. I build a field. Now I can use potatoes? No, no, I'm not going to use potatoes. I build a field right in the middle of the off season. So let that be known. I am an idiot. All right, so let's go ahead <laughs> and take people off the freaking fields. Um, you know what? I don't want to shut it down. I just want to, um, yeah, I just want to take people off for right now. Actually, yeah, I do want to shut it down because I don't want anybody to be automatically assigned to it. So let's go ahead and shut all these down real quick. For now, for now, for now. Hopefully I didn't shut down like existing harvest that was going on. But we'll shut down all these and then we can kind of, you know, pivot our employees elsewhere. We have 16 unemployed people. Um, which, by the way, we could probably throw in a... Let's see what we could throw in. We could throw in a friggin' builder's camp, I think. How's our inventory? Yeah, we can actually add some more builders. Let's do that right now. We need the builders right now in the off season. I kind of like the idea of like growing, harvesting, all that during the during the regular season, and then the off season, winter time. Maybe like think about expanding, adding structures and whatnot. It probably doesn't matter, but I think that's just a cool idea. Having another police station might be a thing. I'm gonna keep my eye on on the events over here. Uh, our schools are still not fully um, maxed out, which is good, I guess. Wait, no. Another police station. How is the policing? Yeah, you know what? We're fine on the policing right now. Water. Yes, so water is something we need to get done. This needs is just, like, high priority. Like, now we need the water mill up and running, running soon. Uh, reservoir. We have the reservoir. Like, the water mill has nothing to do. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not even going to explain that. Uh, the reservoir is still going. Uh, we could probably have... Uh, no, that's good. Oh, here we go. Let's put a pe few people on water there. So 11 people unemployed. Still waiting, still waiting. Builder's camp. That's what I want. Builder's camp. I should. Where is that? Where is the builder's camp? Builders, builders, builders. Did I just overlook it? Or does that come with the... Uh, this, right? A builder's cabin town hall oh there it is all right so I want to have a builder's cabin off over here next to this marketplace right so that we can get more people building more jobs over there during the off season even here the hunting cabin like we should probably throw that on so that people are hunting during the off season as well anything else over here uh, looks like we have the weaving shop that just is shut down because look our flax we just don't have flax uh, anymore we don't have agave, so we could probably shut this down for now, the distillery, and uh, wait on that. So we need agave, we need um, flax, and this is another reason why we want this mine pit here. Where is it? There it is. Uh, which we want is another high priority, two buildings with high priorities, is because we want to um, create our own domestic fuel. We want the coal, right? That will help us, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how that works out. So yeah, that's another reason. We could have more fields over here, right? More food and all that. Herbs are low. Hate that. So with the... So I don't know how this uh, actually works. Maybe you guys could uh, help me out on this one. When you have unemployed, if you go and have them gather, like, will they go gather or will they have to be assigned to a specific place to gather? Or can they go and um, just gather because they're just un they have nothing else to do? They're unemployed. I think they have to be assigned to the specific building. That's my guess. I don't know. We'll have to see. I could look into it. Could definitely look into it. This is like already maxing out a little bit. Let's go 500. There we go. Okay. We are making glass too, which is kind of cool. We started doing that. I just want to make sure everybody's like warm. Not, um, you know, not cold. 
seems like everybody's okay. Food is fine. Stone is just, we have too much of it now. It's just r disgusting. I think we actually have new immigrants as well. Or we have immigrants on their way right now. Yeah, we have immigrants on their way. Okay. Get all this. Look at that. A little bit of coal right there, too. Or iron. Sorry, not coal. <laughs> iron. Look at that road. Oh, my God. Let's do that. And then I think you could just go demolish. And go like that. No, what? Demolish road. There we go. Okay. You know what? Actually, thinking about it, I want more here. Yeah, I'm thinking about more. Look at that. Right there. Like a three-lane. Three-lane highway right there. How's this coming along over here? This is fine. We're almost out of the winter. I mean, we survived it. Hooray, right? Not not a big deal. I mean, look at us. We're, we're, we're at a very good happiness. And health is, is seeming pretty good, actually. Pretty good. You might be thinking, how in the hell is this guy doing what he's doing? And believe me... Um, I, I probably done things a lot backwards or half-assed than most people, right? Um, but at least we're getting stuff done. Let's go more houses here. Oh, by the way, someone told me that you can actually press F. Look at this. Press F and you can switch the style of houses. How cool is that? It's so cool. I love it. I'm gonna go a couple more houses. Make like a house row, actually. Let's rotate it. right in the middle of town that should bring up a lot of um <laughs> a lot of trees which in the meantime we will harvest some as well i mean you can see like for yourself like our trees are, are now starting to repopulate very very quickly no matter where you're at i actually want to cancel all this stuff up here can i yeah. i do want to come over here because there's a lot of different resources that we can get into and this is a very easy uh this is a very easy build if we if we you know so want to but I just don't want to get too ahead of myself. I want to, like, kind of focus, you know. Um, I want to nip down a few. Oh, God, here are the people. Here are the immigrants. Twelve immigrants. Oh, my Lord. We don't have to take them in, either. We don't have to take them in. We already have three people unemployed. Uh, it is now harvest season. So I'm going to turn this up. Um, hang on a sec. Let me read this event. It seems like things are... Are things okay? Like, things are not, like, going crazy, right? People are not dying. I just keep saying birth. December has arrived. November has arrived. I mean, we have 69 people. Yeah, I think we're okay. Let's open up the broccoli. Let's open up the peas. Let's open up... You know what? We actually probably want another opening on the flax there. And agave. Obviously, open that up. Yeah, open that up as well. Just open it all up. Now, where did all of our workers go? I have no idea. All of a sudden, we have zero. It's fine. We'll figure it out here. Okay. You know what? We might F it. We might take those immigrants right now. Yeah. This might be a bad idea. I will say this might be a very bad idea, but they can really help out right now. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to put them to work. Three more. Um, probably one on agave, one on winter squash, and probably just like even some out a little bit. Like, we don't need, like, six here. Maybe do a little bit of three action. Have someone on there. You gotta have someone on the trees, right? I don't know. I don't know, if the, like, what's too much and what's not enough for the farmers. I see people averagely go for, like, you know, go for around, um, like, two farmers per plot. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's bad. Now, we're gonna start getting flax in here very soon. Uh, and hopefully we can get some more linen. Like, I don't need, I don't need linen, I don't think, really, uh, like, right away. But eventually I'm going to need it. Here we go. This is something that needs to happen right here is a water mill. So we actually do have someone on that's unemployed. So he's going to jump onto water mill. So we love that. Um, and then there's the mine pit here. Oh, that's where everybody went. Oh, my God. Everybody went to the mine pit. Jesus. So, okay. We have a couple things that we can do. We can do iron. We can do coal. We might need to build two of these suckers. Where is our iron, actually? Is that in the fuel? 
or sorry, our coal. Where is our coal? Is that in the fuel? That is in the fuel. You know what? I want you guys to start doing this. So I have, how many people do I have here? I have five miners. We'll start doing coal first. Yeah, we'll start doing coal first. And then I think I'm going to build another one of these. Hopefully somewhere. Oh, look at that right there. Come on, come on. You know you want it, baby. Oh my God. So close. Maybe I can go on the backside of water here. There we go. If I do this, well, I have a path to go back into town. You know what? This is very dodgy. This is very weird as well. It's not dodgy, but it's just weird. What we could do is we can go like, well, that only goes straight. Let's just see. Can we come this way with it? Oh. There we go. All right, there we go. That worked out. And then let's go ahead and build that up. The mine pit. Kind of have back-to-back -back mine pits. Doesn't make sense, I don't think, in real life. But at least here, we're going to get that done. Put that in top priority. Make sure that our harvesting is over here. Get these trees out of the way. I mean, it doesn't matter, but for my sake. And then let's go ahead and get this going on here. Okay, a little off to the side. That's all right. All right, a little bit more to the side. Right on the border. Can't get any much closer to that. And then I guess we'll go here to the side and then bring it down. No, it can't go through here. Okay, all right. That's all right. At least there's a path. <laughs> a path to get there. Um, it's not permanent. I'll say it now. It's not permanent, but it is what it is. So we'll delete those two. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's unpause. Yeah, so we'll have coal on one side, iron on the other side, and that should help us with our iron uh, shortage and our iron uh, problem here soon. We want to produce over here, though, at our water mill, some actual ingredients. The only problem is, is that we don't have freaking wheat and we don't have oats. I should have actually looked into that more. <sighs> That's my fault. I'll take the L on that. However, we can switch. Oh, wait. No, I don't think we have any grain. No, I don't think we do. No, we don't. And this is the part where you kind of want to expand more so that you can find more, right? Obviously. Now, I forgot what this one was. I think this was... Oh, I forgot. I forgot. It's fertile land. It's fertile land, I think. This is pasture. Yeah, that might be fertile land. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking... Like, I want to go south, but, like, north just seems so good right here. Like, this area. Very flat. Yeah. Anyways. I'll stop uh, humminging over that. And let's make sure that we're on fast. We're on fast. We are. Make sure that we're getting enough food. Because we have a lot of mouths to feed now all of a sudden. Because of all the intake that we just took in. Uh, how's our pastures? We're going to need more pastures. It, it just is what it is. This is not enough. This isn't going to do enough. Uh, we need more. So let's start focusing more over here. Oh, dude, a fishing dock. I forgot that the fishing dock. What if we made a fishing dock? over here it's gonna take 30 planks but I would like to have that you are constructing a fishing dock it is an area structure and the yield is related to the area of the water covered by the structure so the this fish textile I believe was in the in the radius yeah is it in the radius it's not showing any fish like it would in the water but I'm assuming maybe we can pick up the um, the benefits from it nonetheless Still don't know have still don't have anything to do here. I mean, we don't have oats, I don't think, right? Oh, we do have oats. We get oats from we barely get any oats though. We get oats from just um, simply uh, gathering. I think is all we get. Okay. So I'm thinking about putting a pastures over here by the <laughs> by the grave sites. That's what I'm thinking of here. Not a bad idea. It's very flat. Probably easy to do. Maybe multiple ones. I know they're not the same. I know technically they're not the same dimension. Hopefully that doesn't break anyone's head. So this is still on high priority. We're almost done here. Very good. How's our stone looking? Looking all right. We still technically have people producing stone for us here. Uh, three people to be exact. So that's all good. Okay. Yeah, we're out of oats. Uh, let's go ahead and shut down the water mill for now. <clears throat> now that I stupidly have made that mistake. Thank you. 
I think the best part of like Let's Play series, especially like on my channel here, if you're like new, uh, yeah, let's get that going on the freaking soap, dude. Especially if you're new to the channel, uh, like one thing that I that I really love about playing Let's Plays, because I, I do. <laughs> Look, I'm a variety streamer, variety gamer, variety let's player. I play all ty different types of games, and um, sometimes it's just, oh, what the frick, dude? We got gooses and geeses and geeses and gooses. My goose laid a gold egg for for Easter. Is that what it was? I don't know. Um, but I play a lot of variety games, so like to to know all different kinds of games is is difficult in its own. To play all different kinds of games is is difficult in all its own. So, I really, really rely on, we have enough plank, by the way, I really rely on the community of the game that I'm playing at the moment, and, um, you know, a lot of people can be very impatient about that, and, uh, some people can be very generous in tips and all that, and all I, all I have to say is I, I really do appreciate the people that do help out, and help me out, because, you know, games like this, I believe, there's a strong passion of people that played these games, there's a strong passion within the people that played these games, and I truly believe that it takes um, it takes some serious time to, to you know not time but like, I guess again patience. It takes serious patience to play these types of game, and I, I like to think it takes a special gamer right to play these types of game. And so for the gamers out there that watch them, you know I I, I understand that it can be very difficult watching somebody or helping out someone or just be irritating over the fact that, hey, you know, you're an idiot. I, I get it, I, 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 I totally get it, but I like to learn new types of games and have all different kinds of games as well, so just always remember that, just always remember that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, like health is now starting to drop a little bit. That is, we are at an ultra, ultra low, wait, ultra low, high risk of a plague outbreak. That makes no sense. Ultra low, high risk of a plague outbreak. I have no idea. Uh, but we need, we need trees right now. We need to start harvesting our trees. So let's go ahead and start clicking that on. Hopefully they'll get that going on. Um, how's our water intake? Our water intake is pretty good. We just need, I, I really am starting to think that we need more food and food and food and food here very soon before we're going to run out. Uh, we need more houses. Yeah, absolutely. We need more houses. We need more timber. Um, we need more reeds for, for shoes. There's a lot that we need. By the way, we did get a um, skill point unlocked here, which is going to be nice. We can unlock um, the reed fields. So the reed fields will plant reeds inside the structure and provide materials for production of paper and ropes. That's another thing that I talked about at the end of the last episode. If you made it that far into the last episode, God bless you if you did. <laughs> um, but paper, paper technology, very, very uh, useful, obviously, right? We're going to be needing that here very, very soon. Actually, now, like, I'm, I'm going to try to start pushing our way towards that. So I think a reed farm is, is, is a way to go. Real quick, though, if we take a look at um, the quality of life. I mean, the brewery, I mean, obviously, greater variety of liquor than the brewery. Brewery unlocks the winery, which, let's be honest, it puts everyone in a better mood. Mood is not really my concern right now. A hospital would be kind of crazy, but that's way out of our, <laughs> way out of our hands right now. Oh, a nice tea shop. I didn't know you could get that. Education. Yes, this is what I'm looking at. So we could get school expansion. So expand the school capacity of students plus five. Uh, and then the development points, uh, development points output is increased by 100%, which is incredible, dude. It's absolutely incredible. The Research Institute also unlocks the Research Institute. Generate a significant increase in development and experience. Use paper to increase the output. Can upgrade into uh, Research Academy after unlock. So yeah, this is kind of the way I'm thinking of going. Um, I, I might go for the school expansion first. Switch over to a reed farm. And then go beeline it to the research institute. Or I go first reed farm. Then research. Then school expansion. You know, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to go school expansion first. This is going to give us an immediate... Um, bonus right it's going to give us a bonus to our um, research points right now and it's going to give us plus five 
um, in each school. We have two schools, so it's going to give us really 10 new students. Right now, we are producing a lot of houses because of immigrants and other things and all that. So we're going to be procreating quite quickly here. So I'm going to do school expansion. Hopefully that wasn't the wrong decision there. I mean, every decision, most of the decisions I've had already have been wrong, but <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, we're going to need more people to cut trees as well. Because we might not be cutting enough trees fast enough. Like, we have the trees. We just aren't, you know, <laughs> it's not going fast enough. Now, what happened here? James graduated. Uh, let's just make sure nobody's getting murdered. Donna the cleric had suffered from depression and committed suicide. What? My cleric? I guess she wasn't really that holy, now was she? Jesus, what the hell happened there? All right. Well, we can turn off the tailor shop for now. And we can make our tailor into a cleric. And we'll do that. How's our builders? So we do have a few builders there. Um... Logging camp has Jacob. You know what? I want to have another one open up. Yeah, another. And we'll take one of those builders, and that builder will go into uh, right there. Yeah, we'll do that. Press play here. Again, helping out some trees, our farms, and all that. Um, and then once these pastures are up and running, I'm going to shift over. And I'm going to send some over. Actually, I'm going to have some gooses, dude. Some geeses. It's geese, I think, right? Plural? It's geese. Uh, yeah. Let's make sure we just are harvesting all the trees that we can. That we can reach, at least. How's our seasons coming? Well, we have a sh uh, trader coming up very soon. Another thing was was mentioned is, yeah, you, you know, research for a, um, where is it? Logistics? Research for a grocery store, right? Small market, that's kind of cool. Where was the grocery store? Trade? Yeah, research for a grocery store, a mini market where you can, you know, regularly sell goods in exchange. There's so many directions to take, you know. You know, it just all depends on how you play. And look, another thing I want to kind of come across here is that I see, like, you guys in the Discord and you guys on uh, in the comment section and all that, you all <laughs> have told me that you're on, like, year 40 and, like, uh, an outbreak happens or like a tornado comes and and it's like i have no idea i can't even fathom that yet because i don't play this game offline i play this game solely when i record so every 45 minutes i get it i pick it up and i put it down you know i don't get all that knowledge because i'm, I'm trying to have a genuine experience here it can be very frustrating of course but you know that's just how i like to play and that's how i like to do my let's plays and do my channel here so there's a few things that kind of catch my interest here um Actually, I take it back. Trees cannot produce fruit until they have matured. Why would that tell me for a peach? It's not suggesting that I can get a peach and then have peach trees, no. Um, let's actually... I, I know, right? I'm the candy man. Willy Wonka, right? Waste, right? It's a waste. You're, you're wasting your money, dude. You're waste. Yeah, you know what? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I am. 400 and 400 wool and 120 no 100 and 100 and then you give me some wine how much is that 45 give me 50 wine maybe okay maybe 25 wine okay maybe 20 wine Okay, maybe no wine. I don't want wine. Now the hand cart, the tool consumed plank and steel and the blacksmith to add weight to the population and will gradually wear out and need to be replaced regularly. Maybe just that, I guess. We can back it down a little bit and go 50 on it. Okay, 60. We'll transact that. There we go. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. We'll let that ship sail on its own way. Okay. So here we go. We have this going on now. We have to transfer some people on over to um, to this. And we're going to go from coal, take a couple people off. Actually, take... Yeah, take just two. And then we'll switch them over here. And then they will start producing us iron. Yes, yes, yes. So they'll just go around the mountain there. Uh, we do need to have a fisher. 
fisherman. A fisherman. Who wants to be our fisherman? Fisherman. Let's actually take one from the logging cabin. There we go. We'll take one and place them there. Very good. So now that we have the fishing dock, they can start to produce regular fish for us. Which is just another means of, you know, hopeful, um, just food, right? <laughs> Overall food. Now we are going to be getting agave here soon. We are now towards the off season here. And we're going into the winter season not looking very good on health and not looking very good on average happiness, which is, which is very, very much a, a bummer here. So we're going to shut down our fields now. Everyone's going to go unemployed for the time being. I don't think agave goes all year round. I think all these shut down, yeah. So there we go. All right, so how are we doing? On Wait, did they harvest everything? Because we're really low on food right now. I'm not sure. I'm really, really not sure. Hmm. That's all right. At least I think that's all right. Let's put a couple on here. Have a have one go on the fishing. We have 17 people unemployed. It's kind of crazy. Um, we'll add uh, some to the builders here, to the builders list. Maybe a few there. Get us more into the coal industry here. Get us more into the iron industry as well. Uh, 10 more people, right? 11, 10 more people. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's go like more fishing. Why not? More fishing. Throw some people on the pastures here. There we go. Open that up. There we go. Open that up. We're actually going to need a couple, though, here in a sec. Okay, so here, we actually want to produce gooses. And goose will give us goose food, or geese. Geese, geese food, feathers, and animal dung as well. Uh, so we'll get that going on. Now this clinic is probably almost like a waste because it's so far away. It is very, very far away. And I don't want to say, you know, it's not like a total waste, but um, again, I'm going to go actually. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe I want to move them over here. Um, Yeah, let's do that. Let's go turkeys. We'll move over the turkeys. Can we divide them? This should be empty. I don't want this. No, no, no. Get this out of here. How do I... No. Close. Did I done screw it up? I think I might have done screw it up. Unless I can go like this. No. Divide. No. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna go back and just... just we're gonna let them mature naturally. It is what it is. All right, so now it's coming into these off season here, and I'm really nervous about this off season. I'm gonna be taking that out. There we go. I am nervous about this off season a little bit, um, just because we're very low on food, and there's so many mouths to feed, and we're not expanding fast enough. And that's solely my fault. My fault. So let's see if we can get some more fields here up into the future. Oh god, my field placement is horrible. I'd like to get a few more fields fields down here. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough one. It's gonna be a rough one. This is gonna be a very very rough. Um, it's gonna be a very very rough winter. I'm telling you right now. Holy crap! Food reserve is low. Yep, December comes in. Food reserve is low. There was one birth. Oh, shoot, dude. Everyone's happy, but my God. We are running it. We are running it hard right now. I didn't take, in fact, you know, the more people, the more mouths. I sh you know, it's my fault. Totally my fault. I'll we'll go up here, gather more resources if we can, more crops, plants. Now, to, to future-proof this, I would like to do some of this. Uh, some of this, some of that, whoops, not that, some of that, and some of that. Graduated from school, good. 
high work efficiency plus 10. That's really good. I don't know why they're, <laughs> I don't know why they're so damn happy. We're almost out of food, dude. <laughs> Maybe they're just, they're just so happy to be here, man. They're just so happy. Bless them. Okay. Lamb, look at lamb is not doing so hot. Or it is doing hot. It's just doing too much hotness. How is our actual... Let me take a look at this. Food. Not rough food, please. Um, you know, actually, let me do... Let me look at rough food. I want to take a look at a few things. Chosen to go to school. Chosen to go to school. Go to school. Okay, good. People are going... Or kids are going to school. That, that's good to know. I just want to keep an eye on this because this is like so crazy. 69 turkey. 49 turkey. 12 turkey. It's running so, so fast. Like, we have pastures, but I'm, like, sitting here with, like, I'm sit. I don't know. You could probably tell on my voice. I am trembling a little bit. This is kind of scary. We're almost out of the winter. I can't believe our freaking turkeys might save the day. And our lamb. I don't know, dude. I really don't know. We're going to need to assign some of these uh, farms here immediately, though. Once we get out of this winter stage. Which I think they might be good to go now. I'm going to start turning these on. Getting everybody back to work, though, is a little bit harder. Because they got to remember, like, oh, where'd they go to? You know, where'd they go? Take a couple people off there. Take a couple people off here. Start making them work over here. One farmer. One farmer. One farmer. And then there's already two on there. So let's put the last one again. Maybe, you know, put them over here. Do that. Uh, even the hunting cabin is kind of saving us a little bit. <laughs> a lot of it. Uh, we might need to build another hunting cabin somewhere out here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um... I don't know. I'm still stuck on this. I'm really stuck on that northern part. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could take a couple people off pasture. Maybe one person off pasture. Maybe have two people on pasture, depending on the size here. We'll leave three over there. And then we'll start working these farms again. Boom. 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 I mean, this is not enough. Honestly, this isn't as much as I would like. Take a couple people off building. Yeah. Take a couple people off building back to flax because we're gonna need some flax three people on apples no, really um put that peas kind of go forward here again a couple people off building start putting some more people out there on the farms how's our stone game stone game is pretty good stone game is pretty good man okay now we're going back in happiness We might need to build more houses, too. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? Kind of, kind of crazy. So new research develop development point. Um, so this is where we're going to go. We're going to go reeds. So now that we can build our own reed farms, which will help us with um, paper, obviously, and, and, and further technology and all that. I'm going to put that. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Where does that go? Wait a sec. What does that say? Provide materials for pro uh, production refer plant reeds inside the structure. Does this have to be on some sort of yield? Or does that have to be on water? Oh, it's water. Okay, duh. Reeds. Um, <clears throat> okay. We just need to find a flat place for this. This would be perfect, again, if we had terraforming, but we don't. It's all right. What if we could sneak it in over here? We might be able to sneak it in over here. Right next to the sheep. Right next to the uh, sand pit or the clay pit. I'm going to do that. I'm going to sneak that in right there. And we're going to harvest some trees off over here as well. And then I need to like build gathering stations, hunting cabins, or hunting cabins also. But gathering stations, hunting cabins, log cabins. I think I need to keep doing that out away this time. Away from the city that we're at. There we go. 
know, they'll build that in time. It's not really pretty, it's not too much of a high priority. What the heck is going on here with these alpacas? All right. Again, very far away. I hate it, but I, I did it mostly to do the keep the overlaps. That's why I did it. I kind of try to do the future there, but it doesn't seem like that might have worked anyways. Okay. Well, we're on the path to something now. Uh, it feels like every time we get it, I say we, I shouldn't put we in you. Uh, I shouldn't put we, like, I, no, you shouldn't be dragged into this. This is all my doing. I, <laughs> seems like I uh, always seem to go wrong somewhere. And I'm going wrong everywhere right now. I don't know. Maybe it's time to put up the shoes, you know, put up the laces. Do all that. Maybe I'm just not cut out for a game like this. I don't know. Actually, I'm far not cut out for a game like this. I'll just answer that question for you. But, uh, yeah. Just kind of keeping an eye. Keeping an eye a little bit on, um... On mostly, um... Mostly food and how our farms will work this. Do we have any extra that can jump on the agave? No? No agave? I would like to get some more spirits up and running. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it in today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like, and I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. Someone has been murdered? The killer is at large. Alright, this is, this is bad. No. Alright, looks like another unhappiness obviously brings in bad people. But we're going to need to create another police station. Uh, we already have two police stations, right? Maybe we don't need a police station. Maybe simply all you need is somebody Somebody killed the market person. Are you kidding me, dude? Ay, 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 ay. All right, we're going to take someone off of here, and they're going to be jumping into the marketplace. Unhappiness draws murder. Murder draws crime. Crime draws bad. Bad is bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to. Something to give you hope to hang on to. I'll your pocket full.